Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really excited today to bring you a brand new wig. Now, in my last video, I reviewed this gorgeous wig. This is Movie Star Wig in Chocolate Rooted by Ellen Villa. And I'm really excited because I did review not long ago Josephine by Natural Image and I did say I've ordered it in more colours and those colours have come. So I'm so excited today because we're going to take Movie Star off and I'm going to put Josephine on. So I'm going to show you the natural image Josephine in this gorgeous colour caramel glow rooted. I'm so excited. And if you like the wig I'm wearing, you can watch the review in the playlist. Go to wig reviews and you can see it there. So I'm just going to take her off. Oh, such a gorgeous wig movie star. I just love all these wigs so much. I wish I could wear every single one in one go. So I'm just going to put Movie Star back into the box. And this is just what I do, you know, when I'm not wearing them, I turn them inside out. And if they come in a box, I store them in the box. If they come in a bag, I store them in the bag. So Natural Image Josephine, this is gorgeous, okay? So let me take this out. Now, the reason why I love Josephine so much is it's a long curly one. A long curly one. It's got a lot of body. It's a machine teased wig. It's got a lot of length and curl and definition and colour and it's just gorgeous. So this is Caramel Glow Rooted. So again, it's a rooted colour, which means it's got the roots, you know, where it looks natural. So, you know, if your hair pulls back in the, the wind or anything like that, it looks very natural. And you've got the rooting, the darker rooting all the way through the wig, but it's got the gorgeous colour that it intends to be. So before I show you the colour, I'm going to show you the inside of the cap. So I have already reviewed Josephine and you'll love her, okay? So I know you're going to love this one. So you can see it's an average size cap here. Looks a lot smaller when I'm picking her up than the um, movie star wig I've just done in the Ellen Villa. So I do feel the Ellen Villa wigs come a little bit on the smaller size. But you know, if you've got an average size cap, it'll just feel a little bit snug. It'll feel nice to you. You know, this is an average cap on Josephine. So if I go to the back of the wig, you've got all these breathable wefting. You've got the label, so you know how to put it on. And you've also got the Velcro adapters to make it looser or tighter to suit your head. At the front of the wig, it is a machine teased wig, so it's got height, but it's also got breathable wefting all throughout the front. And there is, a, you know, this place here where you can sew your clips in. So I've sewn two in the front and one at the back. I probably don't need three in this wig, but I've done it for security because I know I'm going to be wearing it a lot and I'm excited to wear this wig. So let me show you the colour. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous colour. Now, you can see the rooting is, is there, you know. I mean, I love these rooted wigs because for me, being a natural, you know, brunette, they're very natural on me. And I love wearing the rooted with the blondes because then it looks... You know, it looks right. It makes sense to my hat. It creates the illusion of it being my own hair. And this is a gorgeous kind of, it's like a caramel blondy brown. You know, it's got a little bit of strawberry red through it as well. It's a really pretty colour. And I love how it goes a bit darker as we get to the bottom as well. Look at all the wave on it. It is a very long wig. It's beautiful. I love this wig. I love it. And you know, you've got all this gorgeous colour definition through the face. So let's get her on so I can show you properly. So I'm just going to unclip the two wig clips and I've sewn them in. But, you know, you prep your hair however it works for you. Mine's growing back right now. So I just get it all back as much as I can to go in my wig. I don't really have to worry about my little, you know, like these flyaway bits here because it's a longer wig. But if I was wearing a really short wig, I would just put a baby ponytail in there now just to you know, get rid of the hair. I could cut that off if I wanted to, but I want my hair to grow and I'm documenting it anyway. So, you know, all this year I'm going to be leaving it to grow and see what it does. So let's put her on. So when you're putting on any wig, you get your thumbs where the label is or at the back of the wig. You put the front of the wig about there, even the ear tabs, which are very comfortable on these wigs, all the high-end wigs are, and then pull it up to your hairline. So I've only found from my own personal experience that the wigs hurt me, the ear tabs hurt me on the Amazon wigs. Any high-end wig, I find any wig that's over £100 or $100, I suppose, in, in US, it fits good and it doesn't hurt. You don't have to cut bits out. It's only the cheaper wigs 
because I suppose one size fits all with the cheaper wigs, they have to make them in such a way where it's going to fit a larger head as well as an average or a petite head. And I think that's what they do. And I think they go wrong with that. You know, if they actually made the effort to make different styles of caps, they may make more money. Who knows? Who knows? So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. But let's put Josephine on then. So I'm just tucking in the back. I'm evening the ear tabs, flicking it up. So you can see it's a machine teased wig. You can see as well she automatically is parting. So, you know, she wants to part in her own place. So I'm going to lift it up to my hairline because obviously I don't want to leave it where it was. About there to get it as natural as possible. And then I'm going to clip it in so it's not going to move. And there we go. Gorgeous. Without me doing anything, isn't it gorgeous? The colour, the length, the style, the wave, the curl. I just love this wick. I'm in love with this wick. I love it. That's why I've got it in four colours. And I'm so excited to show you the other colour too, which will be on the next video. But look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you can see you've got all these kind of, it's like a blonde caramel. So it's called Caramel Glow. So it's got those caramels too. It's got blondes through, hints of red. Just really, really pretty. It's got a little bit of dark brown in it as well through the, you know, the ends. Very, very pretty wig. Gorgeous. And I love this darker root here, you know. Just use your hands to kind of break it up a little bit because, you know, when you get it, it's been traveling and it may be a bit flat on top. Just use your fingers to, you know, give it a little bit of oomph. You can part it wherever you want to, you know, because, you, you know, you can kind of mess around with it. But I'm going to leave it where it is because I like it parted where it is. Okay. All it will need when I'm wearing this is a little bit of water just to break up the, you know, the flyaway fibres or just to get it to stay in style. Or I could even put a little bobby pin in there, you know, and hold it back a little bit. Or could even do this, you know, just grab a little bit of the hair and put it behind your ear and it's good to go. I like doing this now as well instead of wearing a clip because it's more natural looking, you know, to just pop a bit behind your, you know, your ear because that's what we do with our own hair sometimes. You know, you can do it with both sides. Sometimes it does look a bit weird when you do both. But you could easily do that. But one side, you know, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful like that. So let me show you with the mirror first of all. So gorgeous colour. Love it. Caramel glow rooted. Love it. So look at this. And I'm going to do a turn for you guys in a second. Look at this. Isn't it stunning? Honestly, this is one of my favourite wigs right now, Josephine. Look at that rooting there as well. Very well done. The hair feels nice. Obviously, it's synthetic hair. It feels very nice to touch. Very natural. You know, I just love it. Love it. Always feel sexy when I wear these wigs. So, this is from the side. Look at that colour and that curl definition. Gorgeous. From the back. Look at that. Movement. Beautiful. Although love how it gets darker. You know, as we move towards the back, which again is very natural from the side. Very, very pretty wig. Gorgeous. There's many things you could do. As I said, you know, you could put her up like this. You could put a little bobby pin in there. Or you could put her in a little side ponytail. You know, do many, many things you can do. My earrings are getting stuck in the wig. I think I'm going to take them off, actually. Because, you know, usually what I would do is style my wig get my wig exactly how I want it and then put my earrings in because they do sometimes get stuck in the wig. So I put my jewellery on after. So let's get rid of them. There we go. So, you know, you could easily kind of pull it over to the side and put it in a gorgeous little side ponytail like this. Pretty, so pretty. Or you could pull it all back and put it into a low ponytail you know, well, there's many things you could do. You know, you could leave bits out, do whatever you want to do. But when I'm wearing this wig, I quite like putting a little bit behind my ear. And obviously, I would tuck my own hair in a bit better than that. But just so it's out of my face and then wear it like this. Very natural. Really pretty. And just get a little bit of water just on the flyaways. Because remember, it's been travelling to you as well when you get this wig. And I got this wig from... Um, 
Valentine's wigs, I think, or is it natural? It was either from Natural Image itself or Valentine's wigs, but I am going to do reviews on those companies as well for anyone in the UK who's buying from there and wondering if, you know, what the service is like and if it's safe and reputable. So that's also what I'm going to do. But isn't this gorgeous? And I'm really loving this top I'm wearing at the moment. That's why I keep wearing this top. But, you know, this top's kind of going with all my wigs lately. So absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. So on the next video, I'm going to review the other colour that I've got in Josephine. And then we're going to move on to a brand new wig. But I just thought, you know, she deserved the time and attention to have two separate videos because she's just absolutely stunning. So let me know what you think about Josephine in the comments section. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.